Hi, and thanks for checking out this web page. Now, you're probably wondering what exactly is this biological approach to dealing with anxiety? Well, it's actually based out of research coming out of Germany known as GNM or German New Medicine and the Five Biological Laws. Dr. Hammer, who did this research for over 30 years, understood that there was a correlation between our psyche, the brain, and the organs of our body. So regardless of what physical symptoms that you're dealing with, whether it's a skin rash, a back pain, heart palpitation, shortness of breath, those symptoms cannot be happening without involvement of the part of the brain that controls the organs involved. And what Dr. Hammer found was that what affects those areas of the brain are how we subconsciously and subjectively perceive unexpected biological conflicts in our day-to-day -day lives. So what does this have to do with anxiety? Well, you probably recognize that if you've been dealing with anxiety for whether it's a couple of weeks, a couple of months, or a few years, you realize that there was a point where you didn't have these anxiety symptoms, that everything in your life was fine, that yes, you had some stress or you had some fears or minor anxieties, but it didn't affect your life the way perhaps it's affecting your life now. So one of the things that we would do in applying this biological approach here in the clinic is getting you to recognize that something must have happened in your life unexpectedly prior to your anxiety symptoms showing up or around the time that they first showed up. And that's one of the things that we try to establish in that first visit is to help you figure out when did this all start and what was going on in your life at that time, in your relationships, with your work, at school, with your family, that was potentially unexpected and emotionally distressing for you back then. Once we can identify that biological conflict shock, now we have a guideline of what we have to do, how we have to break your pattern of thinking, how we have to help you change your perspective regarding that unexpected conflict that you were dealing with that probably is what started this biological process that now presents as anxiety symptoms for you. And so that's in a nutshell what we try to do clinically. When you come in, we try to establish First of all, what exactly or how exactly the anxiety is showing up for you? Is it compulsive thoughts? Is it a physical symptom like a shortness of breath or a heart palpitation? Then we try to identify when did it start and what unexpected biological conflict could you have been dealing with in your life at that time? And then we provide you with some strategies, some techniques of what you can do the next time those anxiety symptoms show up so that you can start to get a handle on it. And more importantly, so you can start to change your perspective over that conflict so you can overcome your anxiety symptoms. Usually we finish up a clinical visit with some sort of hands-on energy work, some craniosacral therapy, some lymphatic drainage, some muscle work, depending on what exactly you need and what symptoms you experience. The benefit of that, the reason we do that is because we know that when you have anxiety, there's a lot of tension in your body and you're in a general stress state. By doing some hands-on energy work or muscle work, we're actually decreasing that level of stress, putting you in what we know as a parasympathetic state or a relaxed state. When you're in that state, it allows you to have a clearer mind to be able to process a lot of what we discuss in the visit and to help you start to change your perspective over that conflict that triggered the anxiety in the first place. The one thing I'd ask you to do right now at the end of this video or as this video ends is to think about when your anxiety started and perhaps you can start to figure out exactly what you were dealing with at that time that maybe led to your anxiety symptoms. And maybe you can resolve it on your own. I mean, that's the key, right? Once you identify what that conflict is and you change the way you look at it, within the next few days, you should start to feel better. You should start to see a change in your symptoms. But if not, and you feel that this approach could be something that can help you overcome your anxiety symptoms, then please feel free to contact us directly in the clinic. And I want you to remember that there is an explanation. I need you to recognize that despite how fearful or how scary it seems like now, and despite the fact that it feels like you're never gonna get out of this, this is something that you can handle. The key thing is understanding why it started in the first place and giving you that power that you can change your perspective over anything in your life in order for you to overcome these anxiety symptoms.